Howdy folks, Trailblazer Tim here today. Matt, the Florida boy and I are on our way out on an island adventure out to the middle of the Indian River Lagoon. So we're about to hit the road, it's almost daylight. Let's head out. All right, it's the Florida boy, <clears throat> Matt and myself. And if you look over that direction, there's a river. It's Indian River Lagoon, that's where we're heading. And it's like a sheet of glass this morning. You get them kayaks out there and see about going to an island and doing a recon mission, see if it's somewhere we can camp down the road. We're out here on the Indian River Lagoon. This is a major river on the east coast of Florida. Matt's up in front of me about 100 yards. I'm trying to get out to this island as quick as we can because big boats come rolling through here and they put up quite awake. We're only in 10 foot kayaks. It's starting to warm up. It's about 65 degrees. It's gonna be in the mid 70s today. We got about a 10, 15 minute trip out here so once we land we'll catch up to you all right so there's the island we're heading to straight ahead of us it's called bc 45a you look up there there's another island over that direction there's several more over that direction we're heading to that one right there man it's beautiful out here today Holy cow. I'm trying to get over here before too many big boats come flying through here. Let's knock us down. I see one coming this way. I see him. He's kicking up quite a stir. So we've got another five minutes before I get over here to the beach. we are haul ass. Alright, we're almost at the island. Wow, I see a picnic table. I see a hammock. Oh, that's Look at this thing. Land. We're on the island. Fire look, pit. Look at this. We've been talking about this for a while. Oh yeah. Fire pit. Picnic okay. table. Looks look like there's this. some trails back in here. We're, We're gonna do some exploring. Let's get some coffee cooked up here first thing. Take a look at this sunrise, and then we'll do a little exploring. Maybe come back and we'll eat ourselves a little bit of late breakfast or something. Look at the birds coming in. Man, it's gorgeous out here. Get some coffee going. Shallow, shallow right there. Yeah. 
look at that. That's why I wanted to pull the kayaks up. You don't want to get hit in a little 10 foot kayak on that stuff. It's almost like a mini tsunami coming in. You gotta time it just right. Alright, let's get some coffee rolling. Man, it's beautiful out here today. What do we got? I'm gonna have to dig everything out of here. We got our stove going here. Alright, let me get mine out too. Oh man. Ooh, we'll get a bunch of visitors too early. The gnats are bad, there's a ton of them. This is that little ten dollar, ten dollar uh, pocket rocket that I have. Wow. Yeah, mine's similar to that. Yeah, this is the little nine dollar thing. Oh man! Oh man! I got coffee on. That's gonna go. I'm gonna do the Stanley deal with my Esbit this morning. That river's getting busy early, man. A little bit. It is Sunday morning. It is. That fire happening. Oh. This is totally doable for an overnight. Oh man, this is a great camp spot. We're we got a grill, we got a fire pit. We're definitely gonna have to have a fire though when we're out here because oh, it's, yeah. it's early morning and guess what? There's a lot of no see em gnats out here, the little biting kind. Yeah, there's already definitely some of those coming out of here. But we had a fire going here at nighttime. Uh, we probably keep most of them out and plus bring some bug spray or whatever. You'd have to have either, either a tent or a really good bug net if you were gonna do a hammock. I don't really see too many trees for hammock camping. You might be able to hammock right there. I but mean, there's enough for a, two decent maybe. little tents. Easy. Oh, there's, there's, you could put 20 people out here in this tents. This is nice. Once we get some coffee, let's go check out the rest of the island. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do a recon of the island here. <laughs> Those little biting flies are getting my legs something terrible. I tell you what, if we come out here camping, we're going to definitely have to be prepared. Nice place. Oh, this is real wild. I mean, once you're out here for the night, you're out here for the night. Matt's over there trying his luck at the fishing. It's kind of shallow as you get up here by the, uh, the island and stuff. Man, that water is beautiful. Let's try some of this coffee. Perfect. Mmm, that's good. All right, coffee's done, and the morning's wearing on a little bit. We're going to take a walk down yonder and take a look and see what else is on this island and if there's other areas. Remember, this is a recon mission. 
uh, to find out if there's a decent place to camp where we're at right here. It's pretty nice. Let's, it is. Let's see what else is on the on the island, and then we'll make our way back here and maybe make something to eat or something, okay? All right, let's take a walk and see what else is on the island here. There's the river, that part of the river we came in on. All the way over there. Let's follow down through here and see what else is going on here. And see if there's any other spots on the island that maybe we can camp out on sometime. Back in there looks really swampy and dark, so I don't think we'll be walking back there. Let's just kind of follow the, the coastline here. Uh-oh, yep. went off road here. Let's see what happens. kind of thick back in there. It's kind of a trail. Remember we're out on the Brevard County 44A Spoil Island. That's in the middle of the Indian River Lagoon. We're kind of winding our way through here. Staying on the coast for the most part. We're kind of going down a little bit of a hill a dip here. Keep up with Matt. Wow, look at this. Yeah, these come, trails come way, up man. through here. Now we're going to go into the interior of the island. I feel like Gilligan with Tom Hanks. I think Gilligan Castaway. Tom Hanks is up here somewhere. Castaway. Now uh, you would never even know you're on an island right now. It's like in the swamps. We got palm trees in here too. Wow. Yeah, look at this side, man. There's lots of tinder to start a fire. Look at these palm trees. Wow, right look it up in here. This is much better of a spot to put a camp. Yeah, look, look at these palm trees and the hammocks and stuff. Perfect. Wow, this is all wide open. It's nice and high. This is cool. Big Australian pine. Nice. Fire There's the other here. side of the island. We're over on the yeah. west side. We're coming over here on the northeast side. And you still got beach access. Look at that. And somebody had a little fire pit already set up here. Perfect. It's much higher. Yeah. Over here on the neat northeast side of the island. Come over here, and the water is a lot more calm. Wow. Yeah, you can't hardly hear the road over here. Cool. This side, this side is so much better than the other side. everything yet yeah, so close. See up in there? It's probably about 10 feet higher up here on this end of the island. It's got a bunch of cover and everything up in there for us to go ahead and camp shelter, especially if we get caught in the rain and stuff, lots of trees, palm trees, Australian pines and stuff. The river's right behind you. This is looking from the shore up into the interior. Uh, we're on the northeast corner of the island right now. And out that way is a barrier island where Sebastian and where you've seen me out camping and stuff in the inlet, Sebastian Inlet, Melbourne Beach and all that stuff over there. And we're like right in the middle of the Indian River Lagoon. There ain't nobody out here. People do come out here though. There's campsites and it becomes really popular and there's lots of footprints all over the place. So this is, this is uh, well visited. Absolutely. <laughs> Almost as far as we're going to be able to make it as we go up through the middle of the island. It's so peaceful. There's another island over there. I don't know if we'll make it over there today. We're going to explore all these islands. Awesome. There's some dolphins over there. I think you can see them popping their heads up about 200 yards out looking for breakfast. Some birds following them. There goes one. There's another one over there. It's kind of hard to see. Believe me, they're there. 
birds are hanging out next to them because those dolphins scare up all bait fish and pelicans are a creature of opportunity. Let's walk back up in here. Let's head towards the south east end. We're up in the interior of the island. We're walking away from the water right now. We're on that complete opposite side from where we uh, came ashore with the kayaks and stuff. All kinds of trails up here and stuff. Kind of like on the northeast east side of the island. It's not a really big island. It's nice it opens up in there. Really cool to explore stuff like this. Wait a minute, what's over here? I see a boat. There's a boat over here. Alright, so you gotta be careful because I don't know if there's somebody else that's out there. There's a boat right over there. Let's see if we can see it. See it? Come on, take a look. Alright, so we're gonna haul ass out of here because. There's people on boats that are landing on the other end. And I don't want them to go over and get into our, our gear or our kayaks. So we're gonna head back out of here and go back over to where our camp is right now. All right, we're hauling ass back over to the other side of the island because there's some people that have landed their boats over in the direction where our camp is. All right, we're almost back. I don't think they could get to our stuff because unless they land right there, it's, it's not really much for sure except for right here in this area and we're almost back to camp I just don't trust anybody we got our personal effects here and stuff and we made it back to those are kayaks we're back on the south southeast corner all right cool Uh, looks like Matt's already got his breakfast uh, brunch or whatever he's making over there. He's doing a canteen cup Tuesday. Looks like some bean soup or something. Go over to his channel, Florida Boy Survival, make sure and check out his latest video this next Tuesday. That makes me hungry. Let's see what we got today. Ooh, a spam single and some hot and spicy beef top ramen. Top ramen. And we're going to cook that up and uh, get a little bit of food in our belly. So let's see what we can. All right, so we got a Spam single here. Let's go ahead and open that thing up. And take a little tip from Matt from an old Canteen Cup Tuesday we did before. Let's get that thing out of there. Ooh, Spam. We're going to use the top of our Canteen Cup. We're going to use it as a cutting board. All right. Remember, we're on an island. I know. Dude, we've been talking about this for a year. Yeah. Wow, I'm getting chowed to death by those yeah. little bugs. All right, let's get that spam over here on the pan. There we go. Breakfast of champions. Hear them sizzle? Oh yes, you wish you were here. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You get a little bit of color on them babies. And we'll get some ramen happening after that. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, smells good too. Out on an island. Starting to get some color on there. Yes, sir.
think our ramen has reached its ramen. We're just gonna take that off there and let it sit for a second. Take our hot and spicy beef and add it in here so it has time to cook with all the goodness that's in there. There we go. Let's get all that stuff in there. And we'll stir it around, put the lid back on for a little bit. Bit of brunch going on 10 o'clock in the morning. Some top ramen. Top. And, and then we're gonna put up our five little cubes of spam in there. We're gonna let that cook off the flame for just a little bit. Then we'll add the rest and we'll enjoy. In with the spam. Oh yes, delicious. Mix that all together. We've got about three or four minutes left for the ramen to finish cooking up. And then we're gonna eat our brunch. It's mighty tasty. All right, well, let's try out what we came out here to do. Uh, the river's starting to pick up, get busy. People waking up on a Sunday morning and stuff and flying through here with the boats. We have to time it just right when we get out of here because like I said, they put up quite a wake. We only got 10 foot kayaks and get a little bit rough. It's about a quarter mile over there to the mainland and stuff, enough talking. Let's check out our hot and spicy beef hop ramen. Look at that, can you see that? Oh, with spam in there. Let's give it a try. Let's see how hot it is. Nice little pieces in there. See that? Yummy. Mmm. Oh yeah. Hand me the hot sauce. There, uh, Matt. Texas Pete. Nothing would be complete without Texas Pete. Just a drop. I got mine too. Just a drop. Oh. Mm. How's yours? Oh, it's pretty Here, try tasty. That. Try that. Try some of Matt's potato bean surprise soup. It's good, man. Yeah. Mmm. That's really good. God, you came out Have great. Have a go with that. It's ramen. Top ramen, hot ah. and spicy beef with spam. <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome, Robin. <laughs> I gotta get some of that. Where'd you get that? You know I mean? oh, over at the base. <laughs> Hot and spicy beef. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it off of Amazon. All right, <laughs> let's try some more of that. Man, we are eating good on an island in the middle of the river. Mmm. Mmm. Really tasty. Mmm. This is really good stuff. You're missing out. Mmm. Mmm. See little pieces of spam in there? All right, fried up earlier. Mmm. Mmm. Ramen's pretty much good anytime, especially on a nice cool morning. Doesn't mean you have to make a breakfast and all that stuff. It's as good as for breakfast. Got a little meat in there, some flavor. Everybody loves ramen. Everybody loves spam. Put it together, you got yourself a great Tasty little spicy meal, warm me up. Mmm. Texas Pete. Mmm. What do you say, Matt? You want to go out and uh, paddle around the other side of the, the island and go check it out? Maybe throw the fish pole in a little bit? I think so. Let's go do a little bit of exploring. Wait till this boat wake goes away. A little bit of boat wake goes away. 
I'm full. I'm stuffed, man. That bean soup was awesome. And it's starting to get hot, too, so. Oh, yeah. Let's go take a look over on the other side where we were earlier, but let's have them over there. Well, after second thought, I'm looking over there at that island that we were going to go and take a look at adjacent to us. Looks like there's at least two, maybe three people over there fishing, cast netting, and all that good stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. I know there's fish in here. Doesn't mean we're going to catch anything, but might as well give it a try, right? No live bait, just some plugs. Starting to get warm out here. I have to take my shirt off to scare everybody. <laughs> you can kind of see the island behind me. We're in like a little cove right now and it's protecting us a little bit uh, from those boats that are flying through here. Can't wait to have to go across that big channel with all those waves and stuff. Got everything buckled down. We're just gonna fish for a few minutes here and then we'll probably head back towards the truck it's getting late in the morning, it's getting hot. It's supposed to be up to almost 80 today, and it's like the 8th of December. <laughs> Water's like glass outside of the boat wake. Saw some fish running through here, but you gotta kinda have the right bait out here in these types of water. This is brackish water, uh, half salt, half fresh water. All right, bye-bye islands. That's way up ahead of me, it's making that quick run as quick as we can get our butts out of these waters instead of getting ran over by a big super yacht or something. Sound move. Alright, looks like we're catching up with Matt. We still got a nice little ways to go. Those boat crews are due here pretty fast. We're gonna have to wake us off some time. Slow down, it was nice but we didn't kick us out of the kayaks and into the river. So, I'm thankful for that. I'll catch up here when we get over to the truck. Good enough. Wow, we made it. Yep. I'm not loading. Load things up in the truck. Well, hey, that's all the time we got for today, man. That was fun. Island adventure, man. Yeah, it was a recon mission out to the islands, the Spoil Islands out here in the uh, Indian River Lagoon in South Brevard County, Florida. Cooked up some nice breakfast along the way, I'm threw cool. a few casts. There's a lot of fish uh, that are out here and stuff, but you have to oh, bring yeah. live bait and stuff. And you know, we just went on a mission to kind of see what the islands were about. Been living here most of our lives, drove through here. We've never taken a kayak out there and actually took a look at what's out there. I've been out to them in a boat, they, never in a kayak. They're set up pretty nice. I mean, there's absolutely, you could go out, easily camp, but A, you're gonna have to have bug spray and you better button everything down because those raccoons will get everything. There's raccoon tracks all over the place and there's a lot of rats on the island too. So, so. we're gonna make it a mission to try to come back out here and have an overnight while the weather is still decent and cool. Oh yeah. So thanks so much for hanging out with us and you wish you were here. Wish you were here. We out. <laughs>